night. The night or the horse is a lot like some of the other, well, all the other pieces that we've studied. It likes to be in the center of the board to be the most effective. The knight is one of the sneakiest pieces there is. You gotta watch it. So to discuss a little bit about what the knight can do and where it's most effective, let's just go through a scenario from a famous game played in 1921 by the famous player Casablanca when he sought out the world champion, Emmanuel Lasker. Okay, so here is the setup of the game between Casablanca and Lasker. Now, a couple of things to point out before, well, obviously this is a ways into the game, but at this point of the game, we're pretty much done with the opening and we've entered into the middle game. Obviously, there's been some exchange of pieces. They're both missing a bishop and a pawn. So we're well into the middle game. And let me point out a couple things that have occurred. You'll notice that both Casablanca, who's playing white, has his king tucked behind three pawns right here. He's also got his bishop in there. His king is very secure where he's at. Lasker also has his king tucked back here as well. His bishop's right there. Very protected as well. Notice the position of the two castles grouped together here and grouped together there. Both of them have a very good setup here. All of their powerful pieces are into play, even though the bishop's tucked away right here. Look at this open diagonal right here. All of that's open to them. It's a good position to be in. All the knights are also into play. The queen's into play. This is a good setup. It looks To me, it looks like a really good, fun game. And you'll also notice that Casablanca, all of his pieces are a couple more are a couple more ranks advanced here. In fact, he's got one pawn that's already into enemy territory here. So the next thing that Casablanca is going to try and do, well, both of them are going to try and do, is use their horses to kind of set up outposts and protection points. And Casablanca is going to use his horses to move into en enemy territory and set up a kind of a, a, well, I guess it would be an outpost where he's going to start clearing the way for other pieces to move in. Well, the next move that occurs is that, simply moving the pawn. Remember, the pawns aren't quite so strong when they're next to each other. When they're diagonal like that, they're very powerful. So Lasker answers with a similar thing by moving that piece right there. Well, the next thing that Casablanca is going to do is move this horse into play by going right there. And Lasker answers just by moving his, moving his rook into the same file as the queen right here. So next, Casablanca moves his queen onto a new file right there. And Lasker sees an opportunity to move down and to prepare to create an outpost and give attack to the queen. And he moves his horse down here. Now look at this. Now look at the position. He's now in the enemy territory. And he's got some attack points right there and right there. Well, a lot of, and right here, but he probably wouldn't do that one. But these are both points that are now protected by the knight right here. Well, Casablanca also sees an excellent opportunity to get to his horse in a pretty sneaky spot. Now, notice the crowd that he's going to move into as he hops his way over. Not attacking anything, but really, I mean, he's surrounded by the enemy here, just completely surrounded. But that doesn't matter a bit to the knight. There isn't, he's not in any immediate danger. There's nothing that can attack him. And he's perfectly com comfortable right here. And there's not anything... I mean, with where he's at, he can attack a lot of different pieces. There, 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 there. Well, it's a good place for the horse to be. The, it seems kind of scary. He's down there in enemy, enemy territory. And you might be kind of nervous sticking your, your knight down there, but trust me 
He's perfectly comfortable down there. It's where he likes to be. Yeah, and if he has to get out of there, if somebody, if the queen were to move right there to attack him, he could get out of there, no problem. It's not a big deal. But that's where he's comfortable. Well, in answer to that, Lasker decides to give an attack give attack to the queen, and he moves right there. And now, there he is, ready to give attack to the queen. Now we're going to stop the game right there. Yeah, you know, we don't need to finish out the whole game to see who wins and all that. But this sequence of moves right here was a good demonstration of how, the, how to move the horses in the game, how to actively employ their powers and get them where they need to be. I mean, I, I like how he's just right down here, completely surrounded by all the other pieces, but not a care in the world. He can get out of there. He has this open to him, that open to him, that open. Well, he wouldn't move there because he'd get attacked, but there's a lot of places he can go to. He's perfectly comfortable, and he can get out whenever he needs to. I mean, can you see how both players use their horses to really improve their position on the board? Uh, Casablanca eventually wins the game on his 48th move, but you can tell by the position that he's setting up that there's a little bit of an advantage there, even though in terms of pieces taken, they're both pretty equal at this point, and in terms of just basic position on the board. But I can, just by looking at it, I can see that he has a slight advantage here just by how many pieces and how, how much further forward they are. Anyways, at this point... Do what you always do. Go take, go set up your chessboard. Play a game. Play against the computer. Play against a person, preferably. And see what you can do with the horse this time. Don't let them just sit around. See what you can do. Get, get them involved in the game. Put them in there. You know, be, be the coach. Pull them off the bench and let them do something. You'll be happy with what the knight can do. It's pretty exciting. I like the knight. He gets in there and he does, he does some good things for you. Give him a chance. Take him off the bench and let him play. You'll be happy that you did.